Yo, beast mode, I go beast mode. Left, right, hook, then I reload. Speed until it eat brief slow. Connect every uppercut, clean blow. Uh, Ali Reza. My first name is Ali Reza Kadiri. My second name is Kadiri. But they call me Reza Ali. Reza? Yes. So, uh, well, Reza, thanks for talking to me. Um, Reza, what's up, Roger? So, you've just been telling me, I'm going to ask it again on the camera. You came over from Iran, from Iran. at 19, Eight, 18? 18, I left 18. I was on the way to get here 10, 19. On my way, I was turning 19. Oh, right, so it took a while. Yes. Yeah. How long did it take you? Six months. It's a long, yes. it's a long old journey. Six months being, you know, yeah. don't know what's happening to your life. Well, yeah, I mean, I can't imagine. Uh, obviously, Casey has a similar story. Yeah, Casey has the same story. Yes. Um, and you, you, you were saying you came over and uh, obviously I used to work with Vicky Hellier. Yes. And you went in, you were yes. the first person you... The first person, I, I didn't know how to box or anything. I literally, I had a friend, Iranian American friend, he googled boxing team for me. He said to me, I was doing professional Muay Thai, kickboxing and stuff. And then he goes to me and says, um, Listen, Ali, I found a gym. I sent you a postcode to go to this gym. So I, I, I end up there. I saw it's a professional gym. And I, I don't know how to box ever. I never boxed before. 2016. And then I told them I couldn't speak no word in English. You know? The cookie and translate, body language, how I want to train here. I don't have money, I'm asylum seeker. And, and they said to me, you, got, you have to wash the toilet. I said, no problem, I wash the toilet, so you let me train. Um, Barry, ba Barry Smith, he goes to me, go wash the toilet, clean up, no problem, we let you train. I'm like, okay, no problem, I'll do that, you know, but just let me train here. And then I trained for like two, three weeks there. I remember I had to just travel so long because I, I was home, like, homeless back in that time. And going, going to the gym, come back, didn't know how to box. And they go to me, listen, this is a professional gym, you don't know how to box, you have to go to... Uh, Amateur club. So Barry took me to West Ham Boxing Club. I was going to say West Ham, yeah. Barry took me there and, and they said to me, you know, this is the place you can learn how to box. This is like the place for the, for the beginners, you know, it's an amateur club. And I learned how to throw punches, this, that. Uh, the journey started from there, you know. And you're now free, though. Free, I know. Recently signed with the biggest sport agents in the world, was a man. With Sutherland Brothers, I signed. Right. So I'm really, really happy that being with the so best massive, people. Massive problem. Yes. Asylum seeker. Asylum seeker. Asylum, Asylum seeker. Asylum seeker. Yeah. Homeless. Never boxed before. Never boxed. Just signing with. Yes. No, I'm assuming you're not homeless anymore. Not anymore. No. Thanks. I got a bit too sleep. <laughs> um, so what's the three and under? When, when have you got a fight lined up? Like, what's the deal with the Asylum? It's not confirmed yet. Second October, Wembley Stadium. That's that's the next fight. You're allowed to say that, mate. I don't think so because it's not confirmed. Okay, so maybe, maybe. Do you know roughly who you've got or is it just is it a bit No, of a bit any man, any family? man, yes, any man like. And what weight are you? Super Bantam. Super Bantam. What, um, how can people sort of wait to this? Come on, are you on social media, anything like that? Yeah, I'm just waiting for them to confirm. When their fight is confirmed, I, I don't, I'm not trying to sell ticket because it's like so much headache and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I would love to do that if people come approach, you know, I, I still promote my fight. I want to see my fans come in, give me support, give me love, you know. Yeah, Every time I fought, without, without my people, I couldn't fight because I had to sell tickets, I didn't have my contract. Yeah. And every time I saw like 200 tickets and I saw... Is that from the Iranian community? No, non-Iranian, just uh, I used to do PT and stuff. Okay. And I had a lot of people, so they, they came, they supported me, I, I really appreciate them if they... Um, every time I told them without them, it was impossible. I, I got very good support and I thank everyone for their support. Are you on Twitter? Or? I'm not on Twitter, Instagram. I have to make one. I'm in Instagram, Razor Ali. Just, just one word? Yes, Razor, Razor like the word Razor yeah. Ali, A L double I at the end. Double I. Um, yeah, just getting ready, training with Jack so for next time. Jack, are you going to be the week? Should you fight on the second? Is it the week after? Do you want to see it? Um, yeah, I, I think he is. I'm, I'm a week before him. Yeah. So hopefully I get a victory. He's going to get the belt. You know, champion in the house. Learning, progressing. Hungry to learn. Right. Still. Well, 
Awesome. Well, best of luck. Uh, thank you. you. Get the fire you want. Uh, thanks for talking to me. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure, man. Thanks a lot. Man. Thank you.